Hello everybody, I'm Blaze and Rebecca, and welcome back to Backstage Pass, and um, there's some sort of fair going on, I guess, and Nam's at the door. Whoa! <laughs> Adam, I was just about to... Yeah, me too. We stare at each other for a brief moment, then burst into laughter. Great minds think alike, right? Calling either of us is a of, of us is a great mind. Calling either of us is calling either of us a great mind is kind of a stretch, don't you think? Let me have my delusions. <laughs> okay, you have your goddamn delusions. Can you have your delusions outside? I want to check it out before it gets too crowded. Right. Ooh, we hurry downstairs and join the crowd. So what exactly is all of this anyway? I scan the printed signs on the booths nearest me. A couple of banks, some local eatery, and a small stage for a community theater. Some sort of local business fair? I think they're trying to get the attention of all the students in their wallets. Ha, clever. But setting up a pretty tent isn't enough to- <laughs> He says that and then something happens. Are those guitars? <laughs> I figured. I called it. He's like, oh, this isn't gonna get me to- <gasps> GUITARS! <laughs> Adam races to a booth for a local music shop and picks up the nearest guitar. Of course! Of course, typical friggin' Adam! This is a nice one. What about electric guitars? Nice. Not here. But if you stop by our shop, we've got plenty. And we can always put in a special order. <laughs> Would you be interested in looking at some of these others? Adam eagerly works his way through the guitars like a small child picking out a toy. After a few minutes, he rejoins me. Are you done with the guitars already? For now, yeah. They said I could stop by the shop anytime I want to try out other ones. <laughs> um, lucky you. I know, right? The two of us wander around and wander down the next aisle of tents and do our best to avoid the bank's coheresing us into opening new accounts in exchange for a new MP3 player. Of course! Oh, check it out. <clears throat> Adam points at a small row of booths continuing, containing carnival games. A man in a plastic top hat calls out passers-by, enticing people to try to win prizes. We stop in front of the one of the booths featuring a row of toy rifles in front of a large target. Ooh, I'm familiar with this one. I mean, I've never personally played it, but I know what that is. How much? Five dollars for three shots! <laughs> what was that voice? Five dollars. <laughs> Adam hands the mine a five dollar bill and looks at me. I'm gonna win that giant stuffed chicken, okay? A <laughs> giant stuffed chicken, okay. Anything you say. He takes the gun and names carefully at the bright, brightly painted bullseye. Bam! A foam dart with a suction cu cup tip shoots from the gun and breezes past the target. No worries. No worries. The first one's just practice, okay, right? You said, okay, you said no worries. No worries. The first one's just practice, right? Adam furrows his brown con concentration. He adjusts, adjusts the same and fires a gown. BAM! The next dart strikes the edge of the target and bounces off harmlessly. Don't despair. You've got another one to go. Don't despair. <laughs> oh, yeah. The man running the booth offers encouraging words, but I can already see him calculating how much money he's going to make off Adam. Adam? A guy can dream, can't he? Adam lowers the plastic rifle and hands it to me with a grin. Knock him dead, Wahine. Just for that, I'm not gonna let you have the chicken. I take the rifle from an aim and aim carefully. I hold my breath and pull the trigger. Bam! The dart flies from my gun and lands in the center circle of the target. It's not dead center, but it doesn't have to be. I called it! I have, I have a feeling that that was gonna happen. It's like, oh, I'm gonna take it. Oh, I'm gonna hit the target, apparently. Nice eye, Missy. Pick your prize. Wow! Okay, not what I expected. The man running the booth makes a sw sweeping motion with his arm to display the wide array of stuffed animals and goldfish I could take home with. That. I point the set uh, as a matching cupcakes. Excellent choice, if I do say so myself. Enjoy your prize. <clears throat> Aww, no stuffed chicken? <laughs> Aww, sorry. You'll be thanking me for this when it's 3 in the morning and you're craving cupcakes. Adam grins. Why wait? Let's eat them now. Sounds like a plan. I hand Adam one of the cupcakes and inspect the label. Huh, this came from a club on campus. Oh, there's a baking club? <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Professor Marodia bought them in, brought in some of their cupcakes once. I should probably look them up sometime. Bring back more cupcakes when you do. <laughs> okay. Will do. Okay, status is zero. I think we're good with the status. Uh, okay, no, nothing so far. Hold on, blog. Thirty dollars. Total income is seventy-five dollars. Holy crap! I don't think we can go do some shopping. Let's go to the mall. <clears throat> oh, a new movie theater has opened up at the mall. I should have a look. This place is pretty cool. It's much bigger than the one back home. I'm definitely gonna have to keep this in mind. Ooh, uh, let's go to the clothing store. Ooh, this is lovely. $90, though. It's so much. Ooh, I like these kind of shirts. I think I'll get one of these and this. Ooh. Ooh, I like these jeans. $50. And that. That and that. Hmm, blue or red? I like red, so let's... Okay, we spent so much. Oh, God. Hmm. How about this, so... That's cute, yeah. Tutoring, blogging, working. Get some sleep, no exercise, and then sleep. <clears throat> My studying is going up so much. Starting today, we will begin to cover the authors of the Renaissance. Oh. The Renaissance is often considered to be a period of intellectual and creative revival both of which benefited the area of literature considerably. Would anyone care to name a Renaissance author? Miss Gooden. Sure, can I say first? My chest tightens as the rest of the class trades glances. Why do you need to name me? Thankfully, most of my classmates don't appear to know who I am. That's good. I take in the breath and say to myself as I mentally review my somewhat limited Renaissance knowledge. I'm drawing a bit of a blank. Uh, I guess some. Oh god, I don't know. Guess something I'm not sure of. Oh, I don't know. Play it safe? William Shakespeare? Yes. Shakespeare is, in fact, one of the most famous writers of the period, despite the lack of existing information regarding his personal life. <sighs> we will be spending several days next week discussing his plays. Oh. Any questions for today? Could you look over my homework answers for me? Mm, looks fine to me. You're on the right track. Okay, thanks. More studying, and just in case. <laughs> I love that. As soon as Lloyd calls the cut, I rush and they begin touching up makeup. Selena closes her eyes and waits for me to start my work, while my lungs suddenly feel tight. Uh, my brush falls to my hand and I feel my knees buckle under my weight. What's going on? Sean? What? what I try to speak, but it's hard to say anything. What is going on? I turn and race toward the makeup trailer. I slam the door to the trailer shut and curl up on the floor. Why am I having a panic attack right now? Nothing ever happened. Nothing even happened. I count my breaths and will them to slow down, but my body refuses to listen to me. There's a soft knock on the door. What's going on? Sean? Help. Rachel enters the trail and stifles a gasp upon seeing me. Oh, Sean. What? Rachel sits beside me and places a hand on my shoulder. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm very confused. Nothing. Uh, but It doesn't look like nothing. I, I agree with you there, Rachel. I get these panic, panic attacks sometimes. Usually it happens when I'm in big crowds or surrounded by strangers. I don't know why it happened today, it just did. Rachel rubs my back gently. I'm so sorry, babe. I feel my breathing slow to a more even pace and eventually I feel well enough to sit up. I really messed up, didn't I? Everyone's probably furious. 
Of course not. Everyone's really worried about you. Aww. As for putting filming on hold, you're certainly not the worst I've seen. I worked a show last year where the lead actress locked herself in her trailer for half a day because craft services used iceberg lettuce instead of romaine. Whoa. I snort. <laughs> to be fair, romaine lettuce all does taste a lot better. That's my girl. Always knowing how to empathize with other people. Aw. Rachel pats my back. I feel a little better. Okay, there was no voice there, but yeah. I nod. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to work. I stand and wobble a bit. Rachel immediately catches me. I've got you. Thanks. Are you sure you don't want to take a little longer to rest? I'm sure. Sometimes a panic attack can last for days, but this one's pretty minor. I think it'll be better for me if I can focus on work instead of myself. Alright then. Let's get going. It's the start of a new one. Time to go see Professor Kovo for an update. Okay, after that tense moment, it's like, oh, now to check for an update on my thing. Miss Gooden, I'm pleased <sighs> to inform you that your grades are acceptable to keep your grant. Good work. I wish you the best of luck in the upcoming month. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. My blog is getting more hits these days. I earned $31 in ad revenue. My pop star went up too. Okay, that kind of freaked me out though. Huh. I examined the box that once housed the cupcakes I wanted at the school fair last week. There's a club on campus somewhere called Sugar and Spice, and they make cupcakes. The print on the box says they meet in one of the buildings on campus. Oh, I know where that is. This place is pretty hidden from the rest of the campus. No wonder I've never seen it before. Hey, <clears throat> are you new here? Yeah, I was wondering if this is where the bacon club meets. Sure is. I'm the club prez. Nice to meet you. Did you come here to bake? If it's okay? Totally. We're open to non-members on the weekend. Do you know your way around this kitchen? No. Um, might be safe if I, if I ask for help. I'd appreciate if you showed me around a bit. No problem. So, over here we've got all our ingredients. Pick a batter, a frosting, and a garnish for the cupcake you want. If you come up with an especially good combination, you can save the recipe and use it again later. My favorite recipe is angel food cake with whipped cream and strawberries. You should try it sometime. And suddenly this, this becomes strawberry vinegar. <laughs> Sounds good. See you around. Ooh. Okay, hold on. What's my stats? It's six. And I like my outfit. Check email. Okay, nothing new. Um, I could, but I also like to get some sleep. What's my status again? It's uh, six. I think some sleep is sort of better. It's nice to just sleep in. To the ring. Working. <coughs> Exercise, sleep, and sleep. <coughs> Given the generally dismal performance on the most recent exam, I will be holding extended office hours today, beginning directly after class. Those who wish to better understand the content are free to take this extra worksheet, but be aware that all test grades are final. Any increased comprehension is merely to aid with future assignments. A groan passes through the class and I hear someone behind me whisper. If we can't change our test grade, what's the point? Should I grab the extra worksheet? Um... I, yeah, you know what? Get it. A little extra work is always a good thing. The worksheet will only get smarter, but I'll have to stay up a bit longer to get it done. Any questions? Okay, this mm. is still the same. <laughs> As I hop off the bus, I spy a familiar finger hanging around outside the studio. Allison? What? Hi! What are you doing here? Is there more filming for extras today? Not sure. I just figured I'd come by and check. Are you allowed to do that? Depends on the project, but there are some cases where it's okay to show up to the set and see. Okay, and I guess for now, I'll end this part here, but I'll see you in the next part. See ya!